Right, here we are with our asymmetric epoxide, and we're treating that in this case with phenolithium. Uh, very reactive. Uh, the pH here stands for benzene, so this is a benzene ring that we've now made a, a an organolithium reagent with, and this would be uh, uh, this would be basic conditions for the ring opening of this epoxide. Therefore, we're going to go path of least resistance. We're going to go less substituted carbon of our epoxide ring. And the, uh, the, uh, the aqueous workup is just telling us, hey, you know, at the end of it all, we are going to protonate that, that oxygen so he's not lonely, has a nice uh, proton on him. Okay, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's just haul this guy over here, yeah? Um, you know what, I'll just draw it over here. And here we go. I'm just going to get a cyclohexane. Alrighty. And, you know, where we did have an epoxide, well, it's now going to be open, right? And as we said, we're going to open such that we get substitution at the less substituted carbon. That's this guy here. And now, all we have to do is, well, how are we going to get a, a phenyl group on there? Well, you can either choose to put this uh, this benzene ring on there, or if you like, you can go searching for this group, right? And we go to our groups, category P, and we just scroll up here for pH. That's precisely what we want. So we click on pH for phenyl, and then boop, phenyl we shall have. And let's just put this guy in here. And we have success. All right.